We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. It's easy to conquer when it's good weather. You got good sleep, work's going good, the family's good, you feel great, your body's not injured. Those are the easy days to conquer. But who are you on those fing days when all hell's broke loose? Your body's fed up, you're sore, you're depressed, you're miserable. Who are you on those days when it's all fed up? Of course, you don't feel like doing it. It's hard, whatever it is and you rationalize and you justify and you make excuses like a high priced defense attorney trying to win the case for weakness. And boy, I'll tell you what, that lawyer in your head is good. That lawyer knows just what to say. That lawyer knows all the legal loopholes and definitely knows how to sway the jury. So how do you compete with that? Don't play the game. Don't argue, don't discuss, don't negotiate. You tell that snake of a lawyer that's in your head to shut up. Tell him you don't want to hear it. Tell him you don't need to hear it because you are not the guilty party. You are in the right. You are on the side of strength and stability and you don't need approval from this lazy lawyer to go and do what you're supposed to do. That's the great divide. Those people who get up on those days when everything's f***ed up and still crying, that's the separator right there. You don't negotiate with the weakness in your head. You get your ass up, you get moving, and you get the f*** after it, no matter how you feel. What if for 10 years, you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do? What would your life be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Who knows how much more efficient you'd be? You could be 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient a human being can become when they just stop wasting all the possibilities that are in front of them. But it takes you dealing with the shit you really don't wanna do and doing them to the best of your ability every single time. You force yourself to execute when you know it needs to be done, setting aside your feelings about the action. Only weak motherfuckers in life go after things and attempt things they already know they can achieve. You've gotta do something you're not quite sure of. Try something new if you wanna switch it up. That's where growth comes, man. That's where your body's forced to adapt, forced to suffer the discipline today. So you never suffer the form of regret tomorrow. That thing that you have to do that you know sucks. Well, the longer you wait, the longer it takes. Don't let that happen. Go on the attack, go get it done. There's no room for half-assed attempts. It's a full throttle, no bullshit kind of deal. The kind where you look adversity in the eyes and say, bring it the f on. You see, greatness doesn't come to those who cower in the face of challenge. It's the prize for the relentless, the fucking unstoppable. You force yourself to suffer the pain of discipline so you never suffer the pain of regret. Cause that pain of discipline will last for minutes, but that pain of regret will last a lifetime. Do not allow that to happen. Do what's hard now and live an easy life in the future. Investing in today for a better tomorrow. Look in the mirror and declare war on the part of you that's holding you back. No more excuses, no more procrastination, no more self-sabotage. That ends today. You can get pissed off when others let you down, but what about when you let yourself down? You give yourself a free pass. You're not where you should be financially, physically, mentally, and you just let it slide. That. It's time to hold yourself accountable. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself, no, no more TV, no more bullshit snacks, no more desserts. It's time to work out your body and your mind. Cut out the crap that's numbing you. Alcohol, not now. You can't handle distractions right now. You owe yourself more than that. I challenge you for the rest of this year to push yourself like never before. Dive all the f in. Every second, every minute, every day, become consumed by that vision and let nothing pull you away from it. Stop pretending you can half-ass your way to 
to greatness. Dedicate every breath, every ounce of energy, every thought to becoming what you want to be. Nothing great comes from comfort. Everything worth having comes from the uncomfortable, the struggle, the grind. Night or day, it doesn't matter. What matters is your dedication. While your buddies are out there wasting their lives, you should be building yours. Success doesn't care about weekends or holidays, and neither should you. You work until you get what you want, and you don't stop until then. Pain is temporary, but quitting, that's forever. You think champions have it easy? Hell no. They fight, claw, and scream their way to the top. Every scar, every wound is a testament to their battle. Be that warrior. Be that motherfucker that never backs down. So ask yourself, are you going to be a footnote or a fucking legend? Will you let life happen to you or will you happen to life? The clock's ticking and time waits for no one. Seize this moment, this day, this opportunity. If you want it bad enough, you find a way. If you don't want it bad enough, you find an excuse. The person that finishes the race with their hand held isn't about how big they are, how tough they are, their potential, their perseverance. It's not about the dog that's in the fight. It's the fight within the dog. Well, yeah, it's a shit situation. I gotta go to work because I gotta pay the bills and support my family. But you know, it doesn't mean I have to shortcut my success in what I'm doing. I'll find a way to work this out. Even if you fail, you get back up and you continue to try and fail, continue to try and fail and ensuring you never fail to try. Telling yourself that you don't need to go harder or you don't need to do more in your job or be more disciplined in the way that you live. If you tell yourself those things, that's actually a lie because you know you can do more. You know you can be more and that's the truth. That's the truth and it eats you up. When you get content, when you settle, somebody's chasing you, somebody's coming from behind and somebody's trying to take your spot. And so every single day when you wake up, you gotta set new goals, new benchmarks, you gotta raise it higher and higher and higher so you can make your dreams become a reality. No complacency, no complacency, no backing off, no slack whatsoever. Fight. If you're a student in school, try harder, study harder, and focus more. You got this. That athlete that's out there, and you're not training how you're supposed to, go 10, 15 minutes harder, five, 10 more reps. You have to work when no one's watching. You have to train like there is no tomorrow. Day after day after day. You can improve just a little bit every day. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be in. You think I won't make it? Try me. I will stand up to any task, any day, anywhere. I've been a failure before. Now it's time for me to succeed. I've been without, and I'm hungry for success. Am I satisfied? Not by a long shot. And I will not go quietly until the night. I will go kicking and screaming. Every opportunity is the last opportunity. Every opportunity, I have to reprove myself again. Because the day you become content is the day you die. Is the day the person who's trying to catch you will get you. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. You just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you gonna forever be average. Because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and act, whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. 
You got to kill. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving 120. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. And your grind has to match your dream. You can't play as much as you used to play. You can't go where you used to go. You can't do what you used to do. And now you got to pick your grind up. But I need you to wake up every single day and I need you to use your 24 hours like you've never used it before. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.